All right, everybody, we are in week three. And for this week on module three, you need to read Jeremiah, Amos, and Micah. Uh, once you have read those, read the corresponding articles in your uh, Dictionary of Old Testament Prophecy. Then after you've read those three articles, read Social Justice and the article on Covenant. So quite a bit of reading this week. Uh, be sure that you get all of that done. And then the next thing you need to do would be respond uh, to the discussion forum prompt. Uh, have your initial post due, like always, at 11.59 p.m. on Wednesday. So get it done before then. Um, once you get that done, you will have until Saturday, 11.59 p.m. to respond to your classmates. Um, I will also chime in, obviously, during that time period. Um, I, I usually try to do that on Thursdays, so uh, get those things done. This week, you also have a written assignment, which is due Saturday at 11.59 p.m., so that's two things that are due by Saturday. Now, uh, when you're looking at your written assignment, uh, this particular one has, again, three uh, options. You can do Either of the three options, even if you did the pastor track last time, you can still switch it up and do the teacher track this time. It doesn't matter. You're not locked in. But what you need to do is choose one of those things. Uh, you only need to do one. And um, when you have done that, you need to follow those directions closely. Okay. Um, I'm looking right now at the pastor track. You have uh, three bullet points. It says, make sure you note specific chapters and verses. You're going to lose points if you don't do that. Make sure your outline notes are detailed. Uh, so make sure that you do that. Uh, you're writing a detailed sermon outline on a passage from one of those books dealing with one of the covenants there, Abraham, uh, Sinai, or David covenant. The sermon outline should specifically show how the prophet's connecting the situation in that book, their book, with his audience and um, using that covenant in question. The conclusion of the sermon should show how the timeless truth, it's, a, it's a pulling a timeless truth out of this, the timeless truth of that prophetic passage, how does that connect with your congregation? So it should have a few points and a minor explanation. I would look for a couple of pages here. Um, I'm thinking, let's go with three pages minimum. And then uh, if you choose the teacher track, you're going to write a lesson, um, demonstrating how the theme and theology of covenant plays out in one of those books, either Micah or Amos. Um, you also need to have a conclusion, which shows how the covenant connects the book to the rest of scripture. And you need to include the things addressing the bullet points in your uh, your lesson plan. You should have a list of concepts. So start off with a list of concepts the student should understand at the end of the lesson. I would hit these as bullet points. These are the, let's say, four things that they're going to take away. Then you need to include all of the verses that you're going to look at. Uh, you need an analysis of the elements of covenant uh, that are addressed in those verses. So that's going to take up a little space there. You need a list of questions that you will ask to lead the, the class in discussion of those verses and concepts. So um, again, probably about three pages uh, written. If you're going to do uh, PowerPoint slides, that's fine, but it should be the same amount of work and, um, and content as I would expect in a three-page written assignment. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and throw this out there. When you are writing an assignment for the pastor track or teacher track or scholar track, any of these, bring into your work uh, some references to your textbook material. Okay, very important to do that. Um, now, if you're doing your scholar track, you are going to um, create a detailed chart, which sounds pretty easy, but if you do this right, it takes quite a, quite a lot of work. So you're going you're gonna to do a chart, and the chart itself is probably going to be one page. Um, but the chart is going to show how each of these three covenants, uh, the Abraham, Mosaic, Davidic covenant, 
how these are addressed in the book that you choose. So you're choosing a book again here, either Micah or Amos. You're going to cite examples, uh, your specific verse numbers um, as examples of components of these covenants. And they're going to be from the book that you chose. And then your chart should be thorough. So don't think like, you know, you, you create this chart of the book, the elements of the covenant, and you write like 113, uh, 115. No, we need more information than that. Should have a couple of footnotes uh, showing where you might agree or disagree with someone else's analysis of this um, covenant language in this book. Okay. Um, so it gives you some criteria for success down here at the end. Um, remember, more than just a simple recitation of facts, I'm looking for thoughtfulness. Uh, should your, your, Paper should include a thesis statement that summarizes your main finding. Um, so when you're doing the chart, I would expect an introduction paragraph, your chart, and then maybe a conclusion paragraph. Let's do it that way. Um, two to four pages. So like I said before, three is appropriate. Your paper should conform to the Midwestern Seminary Style Guide. Have a title page on here. Um, yeah. You can follow all of those. So I'm just trying to hit the high points here. I want you to understand this is how you're going to be graded. If you have any questions or concerns, contact me beforehand. Um, you can contact me through Canvas. Call me, text me at 832-794-1891. Thanks.